So this part, we are going to look at the end ions, which is your negative ions. Okay, so if I have an unknown solution, right, I have to add it step by step. So these are your common end ions. The step one, I add to your nitrate, I add NaOH. Whenever I add NaOH to aluminium powder, or we also call it Divadas alloy, right, I will get NH3 gas form. So there are two conditions where NH3 gas is formed. Number one, when I have the NO3 minus plus NaOH plus aluminium powder, this is a redox reaction, I will form NH3 gas. The next re reaction we will have is the uh, NH4 plus, whenever you see your ammonium ions plus your NaOH, this is going to give me NH3 gas. Okay, so the big difference about these two, right, is whether the aluminium metal piece are divided or not. So if I add aluminium, it's going to test for nitrate. If I didn't add, I just add the alkali, it's just going to test for the ammonium ions. Okay, recall your salt solubility. This ammonium ion, sodium, potassium, ammonium, they are always soluble. So this one will not form any precipitate. Okay. So we have talked about the nitrate ions, then let's look at your chloride and iodide. So group seven elements, right, they have the same solubility, okay? So to test for chloride, I am going to add silver nitrate. So when I add silver and I do a swap partner, my AG partners, AG partners the CL to form AGCL, which is white precipitate, okay? And then for my lead, right? Just now we learned uh, lead iodide is yellow precipitate, okay? And because lead chloride, these are all solid. So I will be able to see the precipitate up, okay? And then to test for my sulfate, SO4 2 minus, right? We call your solubility, my BASO4 is solid. So I go and add barium nitrate, I will get a white precipitate, my barium partner, the SO4, I'll get a white precipitate of BASO4. Okay, and last but not least, my carbonate. If I add an acid in, this will be effervescence because CO3 2 minus, always think of CO2 form. So I will see effervescence, colorless, odorless gas. If I bubble it through lime water, I will get a white precipitate. Yeah, if I bubble it through lime water. Okay, so if you look at all these steps, right, this is essentially your solubility table. So remember this table is the easiest. Okay, and then if you look at all these steps, the step one, I'm actually adding in the acid. Okay, so why do I need to add an acid? It's because if, for example, I have an unknown solution. Okay, this unknown solution could be, for example, sodium, carbonate. All right, because this sodium salts are soluble. So sodium carbonate is soluble in water. Or it could also be sodium sulfate, for example. Okay, this is aqueous, it is soluble, it could be an unknown solution. Sodium sulfate could be an unknown solution also. Okay, so what am I going to do is normally, if I want to conclude that the ions are is sulfate, I will go and add barium. Right, so any 2 SO4, if I add barium nitrate, if I do a swap partner, I will get Ba SO4, which is also the white precipitate, and it's a solid, right, and I get NaNO3, and that's my colorless solution. So yes, when I add barium nitrate, I can see the white precipitate which is a solid. But what if the unknown is also sodium carbonate, right? So sodium carbonate, if I just add barium nitrate without adding the acid, right? If I do a swap partner, I will get BaCO3. This is also white and solid. So all carbonates are insoluble except the spark, right? So I will also get sodium nitrate on the other side. So both the carbonate 
as well as the sulfate, right? Both the carbonate, both the sulfate as well as the carbonate can give me the same result of a white precipitate. So I cannot tell which one is which one. I cannot tell whether inside is it the carbonate or the sulfate. So step one, I must always add the acid E. So when I add acid E over here, HNO3, right, the carbonate will all turn into CO2. Your carbonate plus acid reaction, you will get sodium nitrate plus carbon dioxide plus water. So all will turn into CO2. So all these carbonate ions are removed because they all turn into CO2. So I add the acid followed by the barium nitrate. And if I still see a white precipitate, it must be sulfate. Why? Because all the carbonate ions that can contaminate the precipitate is already removed. So I will not see BaCO3, I will only see BaSO4. So this idea is very important. They usually will test us, all right? So why do I add acid in first? Is to remove the carbonate. And ions, because the CO3 2 minus will react with acid to form CO2, and this is removed. So all the white precipitate that I see is the barium sulfate, not the barium carbonate.